Alright. Yes, the tile set for the speed zone. The speed zone is the best place ever. If you're playing multiplayer, nothing else will do. Seriously, the speed zone is amazing. You know, I probably shouldn't have uh, dragged that out so much. I probably should have actually... Uh, What's the phrase? I don't know. Actually, done something right. Uh, and by the way, the last time, uh, last video, I got really lucky to recollect detonators like I did. It made World Six a lot easier because that's what happens. You often run out of time. Did I get walked through walls? Okay, I did. But before I start experimenting with this, let's actually use what I have, shall we? And again, another level with with just epic, epic music. Oh yeah, this game. This game is just awesome. So much fun. So much damn fun. Oh yeah, destruction! Alright. Only seven more levels to go. Making great progress. We are, we are. Oh, that poor eyeball got destructilated. Yeah, my range is pretty much up to the max now. Let's get to that point. Sweet. Kicking and roller skating. However, there's one item above all I want to find right now in this in this world. And the answer to that what it is is punching. Maybe saying, Brian, why do you want punching? It's not like you'll need that for like the last boss or something. Well, no, that would be insane. Why would I tell you that now? Oh. I, I, I did tell you that now. Oh well. You need punching for the last boss. Otherwise you can't beat him. And um, the power-up will show up in his level, but it takes forever. So God willing, we're going to find one here. Check it out. Osama Bin Laden on the attack. I'm not sure what's up with that enemy. Like why they waited till now to introduce such a foe, but... Whatever, what do I know, right? Ha! <laughs> Punching! Yes! I don't know why you went up there, but... Your destruction is my pleasure. Yeah, I'm so glad to be away from the bomber men who can collect my crap. This guy just is really focused on getting to you, so... So he's really not too bad if you focus on him. But if you stop paying attention for a second and try to get too far away, he's going to switch direction and get away from your traps. Don't let him get away from your traps. Oh my, no. Alright, we're on to the nuclear zone. And you may be saying, holy crap, what are those? Those, my friends, are nasty little night foes. If you bomb them when their shield's out front, it will not hurt them. So you want to bomb them when, they're, uh, when their shield is facing away. Basically, you want to bomb them in the back. See how that, first, that one guy just kind of got knocked aside for a second? Just for a second he got paused. Because his shield took the impact. He can also hit them from above or below, but it's not guaranteed. And once you kill one, or until you kill one, you can bomb the door all you want. So keep that in mind. It's a, it's a good thing to know. But once you kill one, don't bomb the door. Because then a new one's going to pop out. And you see how tough these guys are. They take a lot of hits. There we go. Toast. A la ghost. Oh, Mr. Bomb, I better save you because I don't have enough of you. Sweet. I'm glad I got through that. They were... See, sometimes they start right near you and you don't have, you don't have much time to clear space. But that time, they weren't so bad. Holy crap! Get away from me! This is 
get out of dodge here. <laughs> I'm not sure what the muncher was doing. It was like he was trying to, I don't know, do the old butt sex, as the children say. Because, as you know, butt sex is wild and don't cause no child. Don't forget it. Words to live by if you're all about doing the quote-unquote butt sex. And who am I to judge, honestly? Everyone goes through phases, or in some cases, are born that way. But regardless, that's enough of this political discussion. Um, destruction! Yes, let's get back on topic, shall we? I didn't realize there was coins in here. That changed my entire perspective on this level. Good. Wanted to get rid of two of those guys. Oh, good. We got rid of three. That's excellent. Now, see, if you pin a guy like I just did where he still has room to move on, he'll immediately just change direction. So, you know. Make do when you can, right? Right. Oh, good. Walk through walls. Getting all kinds of cool power-ups. See... The last world's not too tough, and they do give you nice power-ups to use. So take advantage when you can, you know? Oh, dude, you just got booted, son. All, I, all I'm missing right now are the red bombs, and you know what? They're just so bloody dangerous, I don't want to go near them. Yet they're so much fun to use, because you can just bomb everything into oblivion. But we're on the last level. That does not matter. Hey, coins. That was dangerous. Whoa, red bombs. Uh-oh. Oh well. Oh no! No! Like, what well, part of me was sticking out there? Like, it must have been just the freaking smallest tip of my dick. God. That sucks. That really, really sucks. At least I got detonators still, but that really blows. Like, I'm really sad now. Now I'm going to have to wait for punching. No! I am just, oh, sad. No kicking, no punching. Oh, man, this, this, this sucks. Now, this guy you can only hurt when his eye is open. And you want to hide in the bottom rack like I am. Because these bombs he kicks out never, never come down to your area here. So if you hide like I am, you can actually be in okay shape. He's being a real jerk about it, though. Open up. Got him. Oh, he's not dead yet. I thought that was it. You dead now? Nope, guess not. Well, now he's going upwards. Now he's in real trouble. There we go. And you're saying, well, if it's the last boss, Brian, isn't that the end of him? Sadly, no, it is not. Because this is the guy you need punching for. This dual, weird, floating hipster device these two have. And they throw poison everywhere. Remember when I was saying you'll see lots of poison? Just give them time? Well, you know, here's the poison. So we're going to let the poison pile up. I think you need to let it just stick around for a while. We're going to save that. Because we may be here a while. Running in circles, just staying away from them and letting poison pile up because... Oh, and by the way, if the bottom of their little ship touches a bomb, it automatically blows up. So keep that in mind for your running around time here. Oh, that wasn't the poison you were supposed to hit. Alright, we've cleared a bit of space. And I don't think they throw the, the punch. I believe the punch just appears. No, maybe they throw it. There's a heart. Well, wow. 
Not sure what heart's good for. Maybe you can take an egg. When you have a heart, you can take an extra hit. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Whoa. That was close. Ah! Wow. Oops, I didn't mean to collect that. Oh, well. Too late now. I want my punch bag. The punch bag of Super Bomberman. Sounds like a great story, doesn't it? Come on, guys. Seriously. Enough of this goofity doof. There it is. Alright, let's get away from these guys. Let's get away from these dangerous a-holes. There's one hit. Oh, crap. How did that blow up? I don't know, but I just used up my spare hit that I had. Come on, get away from me. And remember, if you miss with a punch... Oh, that's right. The bomb you, you spit out blows up afterwards. That's what's going on. Oh, another extra hit. They're being really generous today. And if you want to be safe, just blow up that bomb afterwards so you can keep yourself nice and safe from these fool bags. And that's it. They're toast. Toast a la ghost. And meanwhile, what happens? You might be saying, are they still alive? Yeah, somehow these two psychotics are still alive. How or why? Who can say? All I know is that instead of escaping like sane human beings, they're just running around back and forth. Meanwhile, the bomber men are like, hey, check it out. A tower that's falling over. Uh, oh, they did run out. I guess they grew a brain after all. Look at that tower crumbling down. Oh my goodness, the violence. Of course, I say this because they've been blowing up everything in sight, but no, no. When they actually punch someone, that's violent, man. Can't have it. Can't do it. Can't deal. Japanese happiness. Yeah, right. And time for more Japanese zaniness. Like someone having the same name twice. Isn't that right? John Johnson? Or like Robbie Robertson? Robert Robertson? I actually knew a guy named Robert Robertson. His parents must have really liked Robbie Robertson or just hated him. Vok John! Yeah! Man, look at that. Look at that anime flame and the guy's crying in the flame. And there's the evil Bomberman. You know he's evil because his face is black. And we all know in Japan, anyone who's black they consider evil. But at least they didn't give him lips half the size of the screen. So that's something, I suppose. That's something. Keon, Keon, you were double dipping, and I don't know about this. <laughs> Tease, music, and bang heads. <laughs> I love games that are made in Japan. Some of the credits just crack me up. And look at that screen. Could, th could that be more Japanese? Holy flying wiki doo. What's he biting? Is that condom? Underwear? A boomerang? What is that? They're writing the sproying enemies. Wow. Yeah, the one in the front's like, um, dude, are you raping me? And the white bomber man's like, yeah, I am. I totally am. And, oh, the black bomber man tripped and fell. Just shows you how little Japan knows about black people. He would win that race. Come on. Oh, wait, that's racist. And that's the end. Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah. So... Once you get used to how the game works, the mechanics, it's not a hard game at all. But it is a lot of fun. So I suggest you check it out. Anyway, that's it. We'll see you next time.